Hello again. Another day, another video. And this time something survival friendly since I made a lot of command block heavy stuff lately. That's an elevator using the interaction between minecarts and activator rails that was actually introduced a few snapshots back and not just in the newest one. So uh, let's make a quick demonstration, shall we? Let the pick in and it gets teleported up. Or moved up. Um, oh, that's kind of stuck. Let me quickly reconnect. That's better. Let's make a quick race. Okay, press the button and go! And that comes. Actually, the transportation is faster than I can fly up. Even if I had a head start, it comes up with me at the same time here. So yeah, uh, uses an interesting quirk in the ejection behavior of the minecarts when they drive on an activator rail. Um, this specific design here is only suitable for mobs of a specific size, like sheep or pigs, cows, of course mushrooms as well, uh, squids walk as well. Small mobs like dogs, ocelots, and that stuff uh, doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't really work. It could kind of work. Uh, for taller mobs, you could use a design like this. You need to make a few changes. Um, I even had to add some water. It's bigger, but with this, I can even transport villagers up. And sometimes it's even a little bit faster than that design. Also works for zombies, skeletons, creepers, pigmen. Uh, did I forgot something? I'm pretty sure I forgot something, but doesn't matter. So yeah, um, interesting way for an elevator, I would say. Probably not the best uh, solution for all your problems. If you have a farm or something, you're better off with a water elevator anyway. But it's fast, and for single individuals, it's pretty nice. Of course, you may ask now, can I use this for players? And the answer is... Uh, Kinda. Uh, you can use a pig with a saddle, for example, in this design, and let it ride in the minecart, and you ride with it on what's up to the top. Uh, sometimes you can get stuck in the middle somewhere, and it seems it's a little bit slower that way. Not really sure how the interaction is. So, yes, you can ride on a pig upwards, but. Nah, it's not really reliable in that way. I'm not sure if it's worth the effort to build it only for that. So, um, now let me quickly show you how I built these cells up. This is now very important, guys. Listen carefully. This design is direction dependent. So, if you want to copy this, if you want to build this on your own, make sure the glass front or the um, direction of the glass front in your rebuild is directing towards north. That's negative Z. Okay? Orientate it the same way I did here, or otherwise it probably won't work. The glass front, the opening is towards north. Make sure of that. Let's start with the simpler design on the left side here for the passive mobs. So it's always uh, two layers that make one, well, transportation cell, you could say. Put some redstone here for the old rails, then on the left and right side put two layers of blocks and blocks on the back side above the redstone and now we need upside down half slabs directly above the rails. So there are the rails and one block here on the same height as the redstone. Okay, the my card was in the way. We now here put uh, six half slabs upside down, at least in my design here. I mean it's depending on what you actually build. And uh, then, of course, at the end, some rails. Two powered rails in the corners and one activator rail in the middle. And another one, redstone on the back. Two rows of blocks left and right. Upside down half slabs. Above the rails and in front of them. Uh, best is to put the wine cards directly in. That way it's easier later. I put glass in front so I can look into it, but... Use what you want. You can also close it off, doesn't matter. And then powered rails and activator rail. And that continues as high as you want. Now for the redstone you need some torches in the back. And for that let's um, place some blocks here. Move some more. And actually this is going to be a torch tower. Left, right, left, right. 
Yeah, and that way you can uh, just control this. You can get an input into this block, and with that you can turn off and on all the minecarts. You actually don't need to turn them off at all. I just did it because uh, I found it quite annoying to have minecarts rolling around all the time. Not only from Norse perspective. Yeah, that's uh, the basic layout for this cell. Let's have a look at that one. This one is a little bit more complicated. We do here the intervals in three blocks instead of two. So we have redstone again here and then three layers of blocks left and right. That means of course two rows above the redstone as well. Now we have on this height here, on the height of the block above the redstone, the half slabs, the first ones. And then we go one step down and have the next rows here, two rows. And I will place some glass in front again. Couldn't put, uh, we can now put in the water. And then have powered rails again, activator rail, and start with the next layer. Redstone on the back, three layers of blocks left and right. Two rows above the redstone, and on this side here, above the redstone, upside down half slabs, and then one step down, one block deeper, next row of half slabs. Put in the water, and the rails. And that can continue upwards as well. Now the redstone is a little bit more complicated as well. So, uh, let's see if I can get this right. This way. So, make an output of this block from the torch outwards. Then from that block here sideways. And from that block we go one redstone in. That sounds more complicated than it actually is. So, now we have to make it on the other side. We have to alternate the, uh, alternate the pattern. So, on this block outwards, then to the inside, inside, and then the block on top gets the next layer of redstone. And from here we would uh, again make this way. Alright, so alternating from left to right upwards. And that's how the second cell works. Only two things are missing now. One being the finishing touches. How did I control the redstone that's going upwards on the back? Well, that's in my case simply done with a detector rail. I wanted a simple card feeder where the card goes in and back out again, so I added detector rail in the entrance here, right before the first power rail, and the signal goes through some torches here into the first line of redstone. Nothing special. It's really just detector rail directly hooked up to the redstone. Same as... Um, Working on the other side, I maybe should have pointed the tower to the left side here, but who okay, cares? Detector ray in the entrance, and the signal goes around here, upwards in the torch tower. Very simple setup, but the detector ray is enough to make it work. And that brings me to the second thing. Why does it work in the first place? Why does this weird behavior happen? Why do the mobs glitch upwards? And I actually wanted to give you a long explanation of how the algorithm works and all that, like usual, but I actually can't. I've looked to the code, but what I found didn't explain this behavior, so currently I'm a little bit baffled what is happening here. That's new to me. Interesting feeling. Hopefully I can uh, get this mystery solved. And uh, I'm kind of hoping it stays and this is not just a bug somehow. Because it's really interesting way to teleport mobs upwards. It's pretty fast. And yeah, uh, I'm talking too much here. Video's over. These are the elevator designs I created. Uh, I'm pretty sure someone of you will find a better way to do it, to handle this. Let me know if you do so. I would like to see a smaller design for this. 
one that works more reliable even maybe for different mobs types, maybe even reliable for players. And yeah, thanks for watching and see you next time.